Loosely speaking, a field is a set of elements where you can add, subtract, multiply, and divide. Oh, and everything is commutative. Some examples of fields are the rational numbers, fractions, the real numbers, decimals, and the complex numbers. Those are some pretty famous fields, but there are infinitely more fields out there. In fact, there are even fields with only a finite number of elements. We call those finite fields. Keep in mind that subtraction is the same thing as adding negatives, and division is the same thing as multiplying by fractions. So the technical definition of a field looks a little bit different. Here it is. A field is a set of elements with two operations, addition and multiplication. It's a commutative group under addition, and it's a commutative group under multiplication if you omit zero, because you can't divide by zero. And finally, addition and multiplication are connected through the familiar distributive rule. So ladies and gentlemen, I give you the field. I'd like to share with you an example of a field that's different than the numbers you learn about in arithmetic. Consider the collection of polynomials with real number coefficients. These form a ring. You can freely add, subtract, and multiply these polynomials. But division is a problem. The reciprocal of x plus 1 is 1 over x plus 1. And this is not a polynomial. But we can make this into a field if we expand our collection of polynomials to include rational functions. These are fractions, where the numerator and denominator are polynomials. If we do this, then we can divide. And everything is commutative, so we have a field the field of rational functions.